good morning actually no it's not good morning good afternoon everyone welcome back to a brand new vlog uh, so it is currently sunday and we are on the way to being q um what are we actually going to be in q for some paint and yeah some paint uh, just because i want to touch up the skirting boards yeah so we're going to uh, go to the tesco just to pick up a corn and rose for our sunday dinner later because obviously it's a sunday and it's just you know it's tradition to have a sunday roast um but yeah so we're on the way to bq now just to get some paint um uh, for to paint the front of the porch and also the skirting boards so yeah it's just going to be a really nice chilled sunday watch a film and just yeah just just chill out really which is exactly what Sundays are for the weather is absolutely beautiful um, <laughs> you're doing going too fast on purpose you're not Simon. going at the right speed limit uh, yeah so the weather is absolutely beautiful again today which is just oh, amazing this is why I've got like a nice spring summer shirt on hi Ellie? Hey, what's happening? Where's that? Ah, hey. <laughs> He's a good kid. Okay, so we are back from the shops. Um, and actually, I'm absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. They didn't have the corn roast in, which is the second shop that we've actually been to and they didn't have it in, which I really hope that there's no problems with the corn roasts in the world. Um, but yeah, I'll do like a quick little loot of what we picked up. because so we went to B&Q, we also went to Tesco and uh, we also nicked to the Chinese supermarket as well. So, picked up this new spring candle and it is in golden hay and it actually smells like really nice but quite musky as well so i think this will be a perfect kitchen candle um yeah so I picked this up from tesco and it's the woodwick one so it will like crackle and burn which will be really really nice and then we just picked up some more sugar we needed sugar in we also picked up this for lunch so we're gonna split this and have a pot noodle um but yeah really really cheat day well cheat weekend but it's the new plant-based rustler burger and um yeah i thought i'd give it a try then we've also got some crunchy strips by corn and um, this isn't for our roast dinner tonight this would be just like an easy pop in the oven dinner um in the week and then we also went to B&Q and we got some paint, which I'll show you in a minute. But picked up this antique sort of like brass light switch because we needed it for our living room. And then with the sideboard, I wanted some new sort of like handles, like doorknobs, um, just because the ones with the new sideboard are silver. So yeah, I thought antique brass would look really, really nice. So we'll put them on later on and I'll show you the finished result um so yeah got two of those and um, oh yeah we also picked up some yorkshire puddings giant yorkshire puddings because we couldn't have that corn roast i thought oh yeah let's let's treat ourselves to a giant yorkshire pudding and um, where we can have like the potatoes and just the veg and the stuffing all in there which is amazing so really looking forward to having that later on tonight um we also like i said went to the Chinese supermarket and we finally managed to get our bao buns which we couldn't get the other day uh, which is a shame but yeah really really excited to have bao buns one night this week and again we picked up some hoisin sauce and then this paint so we picked up the Dulux Once Eggshell in Pure Brilliant White. So this will just be really handy for like um, the door and also the skating boards. And then Simon is also going to paint some of our, like the top of our gate posts at the front of the house um, and just freshen up the white bits on there. So, um, well, freshen up like the creamy, creamy bits. So we got this masonry paint. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. Just not, not too much because we did do a food shop the other day um but yeah so we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the afternoon now have some lunch i might even have a nap because we're both yawning at the same time in the car like loads of times um and then yeah we'll do some painting and then do do this sunday dinner later on 
And so if you'd seen the last vlog, then you would have known that we got this new sideboard here with the sliding doors. Um, but it actually did come with these like chrome doorknobs. So I'm going to be changing them right now to these like antique brass ones. Just a bit more detail on them, just to really kind of like tie in with the brown room and also like the light fitting as well i have actually um we did try to put a ceiling rose up there however it just didn't work unfortunately so um we do need to get a cut basically a custom made ceiling rose just to go over there because i just think it does absolutely need it but such a nice light anyway i know have you come to help me as well ellie belly have you come to help me so yeah, here we have the chrome doorknobs, and I just actually, Simon said that you need, I need to lift this shelf up in here to access, well basically to get it off, unscrew it then. So those are the new doorknobs on and yes, I love them. I just love the extra detail and just extra shine that they have. Um, so as you can see, these are the old ones that came with the sideboard and then I just added that. Just makes such a difference, doesn't it? So, so happy. Just always, always the smallest detail. But yeah, love it. Good morning everyone. Just trying to find a place where you can rest. God, my car is so weird. I cannot do that because I literally can't see. Hello everyone and good morning. Um, I am just actually currently, I need to just text my brother to tell him I am on the way. Oh, I basically am set off. So yeah, good morning everyone. I am actually vlogged for a couple of days. I've been working um, just my normal job. Uh, it's been actually really, really busy and it's got a, I've got a busy week ahead actually. Anyway, I am actually on the way to pick my brother up who lives in Manchester and then we're actually going to Alton Towers today which I'm so so excited to get on some roller coasters I am such a well me and my brother are both absolutely like roller coaster obsessed um I don't know about you but please do let me know in the in the comments down below if you ever played roller coaster tycoon on, on the computer when you were growing up or you I still do now I know they still do um, they still actually release some of them um, but anyway yeah. oh um, but yeah anyway me and my brother used to actually really love roller coaster tycoon we used to play it all the time and that's what got us into sort of like being on roller coasters and going to theme parks we've been to um, America Six Flags Magic Mountain like we've been on like some of the biggest and the most scariest roller coasters in the world um but yeah so Alton towers is probably like the best theme park in the uk i would say four park is up there but you literally are gonna move in a second while i turn around this corner bye 
<laughs> so yeah, I've actually taken the day off work today. I pre-booked it because um, it was my brother's birthday a couple of months ago and I said like, you know, I'll treat you to Alton Towers once it opens for the season. So the day has finally come and I said I would drive as well. Um, oh God, that car is going so fast. Oh my God. It's a fair to me. Yeah, I said I would treat him to a chauffeur-driven Alton Towers trip and I've actually got him a mini egg cookie that I made in our last vlog so I've got him one of those as well I've got my coffee and also I've just got a few little snackaroos I probably look like a glazed donut today because I've just put some sun cream on but yeah, really really looking forward just to having some like brotherly quality time together and yeah it'd be really really nice i actually have cleaned my car for him as well so he better appreciate this chauffeur driven alton towers trip um i actually cleaned my car out inside and outside but oh my god i got stuck in the car wash machine yesterday literally it was just started its cycle and it was one of those car washes where it's got those like spinny brushes um along the side of it and like at the top as well and it kind of like stopped like on the windscreen like just well it didn't stop it actually like well stopped moving but the brushes were still like turning and i was like oh my god i am stuck in here and it lasted for ages and then it kind of like went back but it still like stayed down so i couldn't like get out or anything um in front of me and i was like shit so i was like trying to beat my horn for ages but nobody was coming and uh, so then i actually managed to like reverse out and and then just be like um, i'm sorry but it's broken what do i do <laughs> so i'm actually really looking forward to spending some quality time with my brother today i don't get to see him that much um like I, as i would like because he lives in manchester um but it does, we do see each other quite a lot and we do speak quite a lot and uh, he's my best man at my wedding just because you know we grew up together like there's only two years between us in age I'm younger than him I'm like the youngest out of our family and um, yeah it was just like it just made sense for him to be my best man and we have sort of like we used to like bicker and fight when we were younger as like any, any brothers growing up but we kind of like you know don't fly anymore and we haven't done for a while and um yeah it's just a really lovely relationship so uh the sun so yeah it's uh, it's very nice and uh, i'm i'm like grateful that i can treat him to a theme park trip and kind of just like you know reminisce of our childhood that'd be really nice um but i am actually currently wearing shorts today so i do hope the clouds disappear i mean it is like it is very very sunny but it's kind of like that hazy cloud um so yeah i do hope that the clouds kind of shift and it, it gets a bit warm because my legs are freezing but i just want it to be kind of like comfortable and jeans can be really sort of like time restricting especially when you're on roller coasters and then you know there's a there's a rapids there and you can just get wet and it's just not a comfy, comfy experience Especially like Alton Towers is like I say like a two hour drive away, um, so yeah, it's quite a long car journey. But you know, you gotta do it if you want to have fun. Thank you so much. Hi. 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 Hi.
Where's Adam? Where's Ellie? Ellie, where's Adam? Where's Ellie? Where's Adam? Hey! <laughs> Have you had a nice day, Grandma's? Have you had a nice day, Grandma's? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Good evening, everybody. So I've just had a shower. I feel really nice and refreshed especially from kind of like being in a theme park all day and driving there and driving back it is a lot and i do apologize about the awful lighting in here i feel like this light is just not it <laughs> anyway i thought i'd jump on and share with you my evening skincare routine basically this is actually a routine that i also do in the morning as well but i um, have been using these actual specific products for a few days now and they've been really like really helping my skin i'm currently using a product which i am not going to tell you about but um i'll be revealing that product in a couple weeks or a week or so on my skincare channel so definitely make sure you subscribe to my skincare channel if you aren't already but i did wash my face prior to having a shower and i just went in with the indeed labs watermelon melting bar uh, which is really really great uh, it doesn't smell like watermelons or anything like that and um, it's just got watermelon seed oil and yeah it's a really really great first cleanse product really balmy really nourishing for the skin um, but really does emulsify so so well which is definitely something i look for in a balm cleanser and then i also went in with a second cleanse and i used the elf pure skin cleanser and um, i have done a video recently about the elf pure skin line but yeah absolutely fantastic cleanser really nourishing it again for the skin full of like skin barrier friendly ingredients um and i am <laughs> nearly finished on that which is super super sad um but also because i felt like i needed a little bit of a pamper give my body a bit of a tlc especially from being battered and going like that um on the rides I actually um, have nearly finished this Deep Scrub Brave Body by Hero Cosmetics. This is such a good like body exfoliating product. Um, it's like a chemical slash physical exfoliator product as well. But going on to the face, I've actually been using the Neod Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate for I'd probably say four months now. And um, I'm not really seeing much of a change around my eye area but i'm just using it anyway i'm persevering um and just yeah sort of like just kind of hoping that this product does make a difference to my eye area at some point but yeah i'm four months in not really seeing much improvement or change around my eye area but i'm going to finish it anyway because it was really expensive <laughs> I actually got it on the Black Friday. No, I got it on the Decim November sale, um, which was kind of like 20, was it 22 or 23 percent off? Um, so yeah, I mean it is it's pretty pricey product. It's around 40 to a pound for an eye serum, but um, I thought I'd get it. Padding it in, just use one drop actually per eye. Oh god, I'm so tired today. Driving as well just really does take out of you, especially if you're on the motorway and it was over a two hour journey because um, I did say this before but I did go and pick up my brother who lives in Manchester so that's like a 40 minute journey away and then it was about an hour and 40 minutes from his two Alton Towers. So yeah, definitely 
definitely tired. But anyway, on to the good stuff now. So I have opened a fresh bottle of one of my favourite serums ever. Um, so with this product, this secret product that I will be revealing soon, my skin has been really, really dry, quite irritated as well. Um, and this has just been absolutely incredible. And yeah, I've only sort of started to incorporate it into my routine um, over the past couple of days. You guys know that I have already finished one of these bottles um so yeah really really great to kind of open it up again and get it onto my skin because it's just so so good um have i actually told you what this product is yet uh, it is the madagascar centella ample by skin 1004 it uses 100 percent centella asiatica extract it's got a few preservatives in there but nothing else like this is just this is centella asiatica done right and it's great <laughs> Um, but I just, I love the brand, the packaging is fantastic, everything about it is amazing and I am very generous with this, I use a full pipette if it doesn't go through my hands and then I just gently pat it in like so. I wonder if I stand back a little bit, would that work? I really need to sort out this lighting because this is not it. But yeah, pat that in and it just instantly calms and soothes the skin. But anyway, today has been absolutely fantastic. Like I said in the car on the way to my brother's, it was just like, you know, just going down memory lane. We were having so much fun today, laughing a lot. Um, yeah, and just sort of getting back on the rides that we kind of like grew up with as well. Uh, it was really, really great and the weather was absolutely stunning i actually was quite warm in my like fleece um half zip and even my shorts as well but i was luckily luckily that i did wear my shorts and they were kind of like cotton shorts because we did go on the rapids and that wave definitely got me definitely soaked my bum so yeah it was just such a lovely lovely day um and so so worth it just to kind of yeah spend quality time with my brother and get back to our favorite theme park in the uk um but next i'm going on with the zeland t-shot urban defense serum so i kind of like alternate between this and neod survival zero but i did get this for christmas and it is on the pricey side of the range but i really really do like it because it has like a combination of different teas um so like i think you've got like kombucha in there you've got green tea i think you've got chamomile in there don't quote me on that though um but yeah really great sort of antioxidant serum and really calming serum as well so because it is very pricey i just use two little squirts of this and it really does spread very very lovely onto the skin and I just love incorporating antioxidants sort of in my routine both morning and night just so I can get some optimal protection for my skin. Um, and then very quickly onto that because I want to lock that Centella Asiatica, I want to lock that Zelen T-Shot in. I'm going to go on with the Inkelis Polyglutamic Acid. So this is pretty much like hyaluronic acid. It really helps to attract water to the surface of the skin. But this actually provides like a seal as well, like an invisible seal and it kind of holds and retains the moisture in the skin so perfect perfect for the evening because you know in the evening when we're sleeping we do experience transepidermal water loss and our skin can become very dehydrated i know you didn't come here for a skincare video <laughs> and then what i like to do currently is actually mix two moisturizers together and um, like i said this product that I will soon reveal is really making my skin feel really dry, very irritated, very sensitive. So I need um, products that are just gonna really nourish my skin, but really sort of like strengthen my skin barrier as well. So I'm going in with the Indeed Labs In Ceramide Daily Moisture Cream, mixing it with the Elf Pure Skin Pure Skin Light Moisturizer. Um, I just kind of like. I, I feel like both of these products are really, really great on their own, 
but because I've experienced extreme dryness, I love just mixing these in because they just really enhance that sort of like texture, that thickness that I need. But yeah, really, really fantastic ceramide based products. So I usually put probably like two, yeah, I put two squirts of the Indeed Labs and then maybe three, yeah, three of the Elf Pure Skin and just kind of like mix it in, do a little bit of a cocktail and just let my skin soak it up and enjoy it. And this morning when we were sort of like midway through our car journey, I did actually have a McDonald's breakfast, which I've not had in a very long time. So I had a cheese and egg McMuffin with two hash browns. I know, I didn't have any lunch though because I was like really stuffed from that. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to having some dinner now. It's actually quite late, it's half past eight I think it is or something like that. Um, so it is quite late but I'm going to have some dinner, then watch an episode of Ozark with Simon and then have an early night. Well actually it will be like half past nine by that so it's not an early night for me because I'm pretty much in bed by nine o'clock usually anyway um but yes so yeah i'm just going to chill out for the rest of the evening i'm actually going to um oh i'm not too sure which body moisturizer oh, i want um so i might um, go, no i'll go for this because i did put that scrub on so i'll use the super drug me plus hyaluronic acid body gel um so yeah i'm going to do that off camera because that is a site that we we don't want to see on here and yeah i'll catch up with you tomorrow good afternoon everyone i've just returned home from work ellie is literally i don't know what even she wants to do and we've also got a simon's mum's dog for the evening as well come on get up and um yeah so yeah we've got simon's mum's dog for the evening tonight i'll actually put you over here here however i wanted to just to kind of like let you guys know that i actually had some really really exciting news today that i um do have a full-time job as well as sort of like doing skincare videos and also vlogging so i do try and vlog in my spare time and also on the weekend when i'm not doing overtime um but yes I have a full-time job that when I went into the job, it wasn't a permanent contract. It was just for 12 months and it was definitely a massive risk that I took, but I knew that I was really unhappy with my old job. So I just needed to sort of like have a total fresh start and just sort of work hard and, and um, be optimistic that it was going to get made permanent. And today it has been confirmed that it has been made permanent, which... Oh, I, I don't think it's actually sunk in yet but I am really really happy and it's kind of like I've been waiting for this day for six months now uh, over six months actually seven months nearly since I started my new job and it's just like the wait is over now like it's just so it's so weird to think that I've actually got a permanent job now that I'm really really happy in that I love and that I will continue to love for a very long time as well and just financial security as well it's just like a weight off my shoulders and it's been giving me a lot of anxiety and just you know kind of like not knowing what is happening with your job that you've worked really kind of like you know you trained onto it and you've worked really hard to do so yeah it's really really lovely that I've been made permanent and yeah just wanted to share that with you because it is a huge, huge part of my life. So I might actually, um, you know, pop a bottle of Prosecco later with Simon. Simon is actually working later on till this evening, around about half seven, seven, half seven or something like that. It's actually currently quarter past five. So yeah, I've just got in and um, I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the evening, actually. It's been such beautiful weather this week. Obviously, it was in Alton Towers yesterday. Uh, I'm not as tired as I thought I would be, but um, how many steps did I actually do yesterday? I think I did like nearly 20,000, which is something, that, especially when I've been on like, sat down doing a desk job for the past seven months. It's uh, 20,000 steps is definitely something that I haven't achieved for a while. 
Oh, so I've done 19,429 steps. Um, and the day before that, I did 12,500. So I'm trying to kind of like do as many steps as possible. At the moment, I have done 7,347. So not too bad for sitting down all day. Um, but yeah, I just try and get my steps in as much as possible. I am kind of like feeling a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit conscious about my body at the minute. And over the past like two years, I have actually noticed that I have gained weight like i can i can see it i can see the weight gain on me uh, which isn't a bad thing because i always used to be really insecure about how skinny i was and how bony i was and just kind of yeah i was really tired all the time and i do have like oh i did have like health problems um that definitely contributed to me not sort of like putting on weight as 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 i should have done um but yeah i was really self-conscious and i think maybe just maybe my metabolism has slowed down and i'm just kind of like storing more energy more fat um, and obviously overindulging which i definitely have been doing but um yeah it's it's kind of like I want to sort of keep the weight, but I want to tone up a little bit just to get ready for the wedding, really. But it's, it's like 10 weeks away, or less than 10 weeks away now. So, yeah, I've always kind of like tried to go to the gym. I've actually attempted to join the gym three times, maybe four times. I even used to have a personal trainer, but I just don't think like weights and getting hench and you know getting muscly on my arms is is my i just don't think it's for me like i just don't think i was kind of you know born to be like that but i do kind of want to just sort of tone up my t tummy a little bit and and just get a bit fitter and a bit healthier because like i ran two half mar marathons and i did them quite all right with li very little training actually and there's absolutely no chance that i would run a half marathon now or even get down to a mile i just would not even be able to do it um so yeah i really am wanting to sort of like get a bit healthier a bit fitter and just tone up a little bit especially for the wedding kind of i don't want a muffin top for my wedding <laughs> um but overall that being said i do feel a lot happier in myself and a lot kind of just yeah I just feel a lot more happier, uh, which is the main thing, isn't it? Anyway, I don't even know how we've got into this conversation about me gaining weight. But yeah, it's been a really lovely day just knowing that my job is now permanent. And I know, I know I am incredibly privileged to even have a job and I'm so, so grateful for that. So I don't kind of want this to come across as like, you know, I'm, you know, selfish or I'm entitled or anything like that because I know how incredibly grateful I am to even have a job. So, um, yeah, and of course, of course, with everything going on in the world right now, my heart really does go out to every single one um, person who has been affected by the war and also, you know, just by, you know, the after effects of, of the pandemic as well. It's still there and it's still, you know, affecting affecting everyone and you know the cost of living is rising it really is a difficult time so yeah my heart goes out to absolutely everybody and i just hope that you are safe and that you've got family to support you um or loved ones to support you anyway and i actually wanted to show you the update or the progress of my spring bulb planters that i did in my last vlog because I'll tell you what they actually have done quite well i mean i was surprised myself um but yeah we also have the dried flowers in the vase which oh, i just love and they still smell so so nice so yeah really really happy with just how this room looks but the spring planters i think there must have been something in the soil because they have grown <laughs> so so yeah they have grown so so much i mean like even this guy wow this was actually one of the tall daffodils um because they were white daffodils that i purchased and this is about to bloom but even the like other daffodils they have really grown as well like the dwarf daffodils really really cute the tulips are blossoming and blooming as well so this one is kind of like you know had its had its moment and it's kind of you know going back a little bit but this one's about to come out we've got a purple one here which is oh and another one there a little a little one there ah oh and let me tell you this this was 
this is wild this is wild to another level so i've actually had to just um snap a branch and just like tie it because they were just kind of like growing all the way down here um so yeah i just had to kind of like secure them upright a little bit but they are still still having a having a mind of their own and also with this one here as well this is a gorgeous like burnt orange yellow tulip that's about to come out um and then just some daffodils there as well but hopefully we shall see some more tulips coming up from these and then we have this one by the window and the dwarf daffodils have really really grown as well um the normal sort of long daffodils the white daffodils are kind of you know about to come out i think the tulip in there i'm not too sure on the progress of that um yeah i don't know about that one yet but the dwarf daffodils are really loving this space so but anyway it's been a really weird week to vlog i've been very busy and now that i'm home i'm kind of just like oh I could get my pajamas on have a cup of tea and that'll be me for the rest of the evening but i really do hope you have enjoyed this vlog wherever you have gotten up to i'm not too sure how long this video is um but definitely will be back next week with a more exciting vlog do my usual baking or cooking and a food haul um yeah just just cozy vlogs is what i love the most um so yeah i really do hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you next week for a brand new one. See you later. Bye-bye.